I'm testing the UK's number one curl product, Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. It's the scrunching jelly. When I say I'm putting this product to the test, I literally mean it. The humidity was 87% last night in England. I'm going to start off with the application process and move all the way on to how it looks with the results in this humidity. Even their website says the number one bestseller, this medium hold silicone sulfate and paraben free curl scrunching jelly tames frizz, adds shine and defines. The curl jelly is suitable for styling all types of waves, curls and coils. I have curls as you can see, I'm a type 3, B, C and 4A. I range in those. When my hair dries it looks like 4A. When I curl it and define it and do everything else, it looks like type 3B, 3C. My hair is freshly washed. I'm going to tell you what I used. Here you go. This was my wash day. So it's clean. I'm only using this product and I'm not mixing any other products. So I want to see how good the best selling curl product in the UK works on my hair. The first thing I do is section my hair into four parts and then I start from the back going forwards. I use a spray bottle to wet my hair and then apply the product. I'm breaking the product through my hair with my hands and then I'm also using a brush. I'm brush styling. At first I thought, ah, oh, let me just do the raking method. But I found with the brush, the definition of the curls were crazy. This is the texture of the product. As you can see, it's a jelly-like product. It's pink. Nice, nice. My hair drank this product up straight away. It just sucked it all up. It was hydration on another level. Smooth, soft, detangling was easy. The minute I added this product, it didn't take a few seconds, like straight away, I saw a difference. I wasn't sure how much of the product to use. I started off with about the amount of a two pence coin, and that was even too much. That covered both sections. So a little of this product goes a long way. You don't need much. Especially when this container is only 200 milliliters. I did think this is rather small. Is this even gonna style my hair? And how long is this little container actually gonna last? But actually, I think this will last for quite a few wash and goes. I was pleasantly surprised that actually a little went a long way. Now let's move on to how this product smells. It's not a light fragrance. It's definitely got like a perfumey kind of fragrance, but it's not strong. It's not overpowering. It's nice. Honestly, I like it. I just didn't expect it to be this kind of smell. The way this product hydrates my curls straight away is pretty unbelievable. And the styling process was so, so easy smooth it's crazy i didn't need much effort my curls just did what they needed to do with this product compared to some products you really have to rake that product in before the hair catches on that ah this is a styling product this one straight away my hair was like hello i took about 25 to 30 minutes styling my whole head look at the side with the product and the side without the product. Can you see what I'm talking about? Like the definition is off the charts. I can see why this is the best seller. We haven't even gone to the drying time yet. But my wet results look so good already. Then on to drying time. How long did it actually take for me to dry my hair? Now, this bottle actually says, apply jelly evenly through mid lengths and ends of hair and scrunch dry with a diffuser or leave in to air dry. To add volume, scrunch dry with your head upside down. For more definition, twirl each lock of curls into a spiral and leave to air dry. So there seems to be a bit of a combination. It works for both. Air drying and diffusing. Now I did both. I air dried for about 20 minutes per se, and then I started diffusing. But it is extremely hot in England at the moment. I love the heat, but this humidity came to test us. So I was air drying on warm and not hot it was making me sweat i decided nope 
not on hot anymore. I'm only using the cold setting. And it didn't take much time actually to dry. And then I air dried the rest of the time. I started around 11.30 and by a few minutes past one, my hair was dry. So what are the pros and cons of using Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly? Excellent curl definition, that's a pro. Great frizz control, that's a pro. Lightweight and no greasy formula. It is lightweight, um, it's not greasy, especially when it dries, you can see it's not an oily product. But when you apply it to your hair, it's a little sticky, but that's normal. I know I have a friend who's like, ah, oh, no, I don't like the stickiness when I'm styling my hair. But for me, I really don't mind. I prefer anything that works. Potential crunchiness if you use too much of the product? No. I think the more product you use, it really didn't matter how much product I put on my hand and added to my hair, the crunch was not getting harder if I added too much of this product. It was very good. Is the product flaking at all at the moment? No, so it looks good, but we'll see when it dries. I love the wording on this. It says there's no nasty crunch and no buildup. Yes, no crunch and build up. There doesn't seem to be any, but we'll see when it dries. All you need to do is experiment and find the right amount and technique for you. So if you're trying it for the first time, just add a little bit of the product. And as you continue, you'll realize actually it only needs this much or I need a bit more. Now let's move on to the results. It's day one. These are my fully dried curls. It feels in terms of hydration, softness and hold, there's a slight cast, which is good, ever so slight. And the curls are defined, defined, defined. And the shrinkage, I was like, okay, this isn't bad at all. Hello, like my hair is so long, but my shrinkage is always crazy. I just wanted to show you, this is day one. This is still day one and it's 23 degrees at 20 to 8 at night. The humidity is 61% and the temperature was 27 degrees, 28. I was sweating, sweating, sweating. This product has held up all day. But wow, day one and it still looks like this, sweating and everything. Well done, Umberto Giannini. A 10 out of 10 just for day one because this humidity is crazy. Regarding the claims, Tames Frizz adds shine, defines. Yes, yes, yes. Day one, it looks like this already. It seems like a light gel, but it's doing all the things a medium to strong gel would do. This product is even award winning. Honestly, I didn't expect such good results, but I stand corrected. Now let's talk about price range. How costly is this? compared to other gels. I got this one from Sainsbury's with my Nectar card and it only cost six pounds. Don't tell anyone. Now that seems pretty reasonable to me. For 200 ml, six pounds, that price is good. Usually a 450, like the extreme gel, is going for 15 pounds, 14 pounds something. So this seems pretty reasonable, about the same price-ish. Guys, this is day two, and when I say this product has withstood the humidity in this country, it's crazy. It's past the test. Only there's a bit of flake in. It says no flakes when you put too much product, and I thought that was the case, but can you see? There's a little bit of flake in. I've only seen it there which is a bit disappointing, but the definition, the results, ah, oh, guys, I'm even turning around for you. Look at this. I mean, I can't complain. It was 87% humidity last night. So I was sweating all night and this is day two. It's a little unfair that I tried it through this heat, but it just proves how good of a hold this is, especially if this is just a medium hold, you've passed the test. You've literally passed the test. I mean, 
the curls are defined still with all the sweating i was sweating all night i woke up even now as i'm talking i am sweating wiping the sweat off my brow so 87 percent humidity last night this morning it's still humid i'll show you i'll put a screenshot oh it's hot it's hot i literally want to just tie my hair up and get done with it it's such a shame because the hair came out so well in the summer this humidity how do we withstand this well whew. but the product did well very very well guys i mean I can't complain. I know it doesn't look like a day two because of how frizzy it's already gotten, but the humidity is beyond. It was 28 degrees yesterday. It's dropped down to 20, but the humidity is still so high. This is what we've got. I mean, the definition, look, it's still there. <laughs> it's still there and I'm still wiping the sweat. If this product hasn't passed the test for you, I don't know what will. If you're looking for a product that can withstand humidity, this is it. Yesterday, did you see the definition? It was crisp. Today, it still looks good. There's still definition, but there's frizz. I've been sweating, as you know. It's pretty clear to see why this is the UK's number one curl product for all hair types. So if you've got type two, it will work. Type three, it will work. Type four, I would say it would work as well. Um, I'm not sure about 4C, 4B, but 4A, definitely. Thanks so much for watching Curls by Charlene. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hmm, hmm. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.